Hey everybody, it's Taz. I am getting back to you with an update on the situation with my son. I'm gonna take you along with me. I have to go to Walmart to purchase some things. I just got home a few days ago and my husband and son don't eat the same things I do. <laughs> so I find that there's really nothing in the house for me to eat. So I'm gonna be getting some groceries and then I need some household things as well. And of course, I had to stop by McDonald's and get some coffee. I really like the McDonald's coffee. I think it's one of those that either you love it or you hate it, right? Um, so I got home a few days ago and I have, I think I've literally slept for 36 hours straight. I feel like Rip Van Winkle. Um, there's just been, you know, the recovery from a lot of stress and things. I think it's pretty normal to feel like there should be some sort of an adjustment period when you return home after being away for several months and um, having gone through a stressful situation. So my son, uh, last week, he was cleared to drive by his doctor. So that left eye has improved. Um, he has 20-20 vision in each eye and he can now look straight forward without seeing double. Um, that muscle in the left eye that was affected is still a little off, um, but it doesn't affect his peripheral vision or his binocular vision, which is straightforward. So the doctor allow, allows him to drive. Um, he is healing very nicely from his injuries. Uh, the, the hip, he just walks with a limp, which is to be expected. He's in therapy three times a week, physical therapy for the hip and the knee and then another three times a week for the traumatic brain injury. He goes in and they do some cognitive and some memory kinds of things. And so he's in all of that therapy now. <clears throat> and this week will be his last week of the, of the cognitive or the TBI therapy, but he'll continue the physical therapy for the hip and the knee for, oh gosh, for a long time. Well, until, you know, as long as needed, I suppose. So now that he can drive, and he could drive himself to appointments. His convalescence leave with the Air Force ended on September 30th. So as of October 1st, he had to report to base each day and they have him working on a, in a, on a desk, at a desk, and doing some administrative things because he really can't be um, up on his feet for length of time. He certainly cannot resume flying or any of the um, activities that he would normally have done. Um, so all of this is kind of still up in the air. Now the update on the brain lesions is that he he's going to have another MRI of the brain in November. And this will tell him, us if he has any new lesions you know, or if the old lesions didn't go away, it'll just give us the full picture of what's going on. The doctor has told us that even though the one cerebral spinal fluid test was negative, that there's still a chance that it could be MS. And if this new scan reveals any new lesions, um, that they will go ahead and diagnose him with MS. And from what I understand, it's not a guarantee that they'll immediately start him on medications. I think it's gonna depend on how many, you know, flares or episodes of symptoms that he's had and what he's experiencing now and so forth. He's having some strange neurological symptoms um, since the accident and it could be because of those lesions, but it's also likely to be because the, the nerves are just kind of healing inside of the brain. Um, the cranial nerves can give off a, a weird variety of symptoms um, as they're healing. And so some of the paresthesias around the face and things they feel like could be the cranial nerves. Now the the numbness and tingling in the arm, um, it comes and goes, which really isn't typical, I don't think, of MS. Um, from what I've read, everybody follows a different path, and so we're just, we're just waiting and praying. So your continued prayers mean so much to us, because until we get
get that scan. I still think there's time to work a healing miracle and, and, and just have him completely heal from this without any further complications or lesions. That would be the ideal situation. So thank you again for all of the continued prayers, the love and the support. It has been amazing and it's taught me how to love and be compassionate. Not that I wasn't before, um, but until you truly go through a matter where you can really see um, how all of this makes a difference, it, it, just, it just changes you. It changes you, it lifts you up, and I'm just so, so grateful for all of you. So I'm back at home in my regular wig closet. I had to dust off my little mannequin heads and get everything ready. I'm going to do a review this afternoon because when I got home, there was a brown little box sitting on the counter and I couldn't believe it. I am so excited. It is the, uh, the new Editor's Pick Elite by Raquel Welch. It was sent to me by Hair You Wear for review. And I think it is amazing and I cannot wait to review it. In fact, I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll do a full review. I will, um, we're gonna compare it against the original editor's pick to see if there's any differences in terms of style because if you love the original editor's pick and just want a little upgrade on the cap design as you know that editor's pick elite is completely hand tied so it's a uh, lace front mono top and then a fully hand tied base I can't wait so I think what I'll do also is a styling video like a separate fun styling video so I've got all kinds of ideas, got a lot of excitement about this and getting ready to get back into the thick of things. So it was, even though I wasn't really on hold while I was in Georgia, I was still doing uh, some wig reviews and things. I feel like I couldn't uh, be as creative um, as I wanted to be. So this year I'm just, I'm very proud and very excited about the direction of my channel. I'm expanding my relationship with Wig Studio One. This year I think I've brought more resources and styles uh, to, to viewers than ever before. And that is, that's really, really exciting. So that's it guys. Uh, a quick update on my son and my personal situation with him and where all that stands and my thanks to you for the prayers and just some random musings about um, upcoming reviews, my excitement for my channel and the chance to have all these resources that I did not expect I would have. I've just been so blessed this year. So everybody have a wonderful day. Love you all.